Welcome to Tran Plays Warhammer 40,000 Space Wolf. You have trespassed on Kanak, Dogobrus. Now, die for desecrating world bearers' territory. Come then, traitor. Many have tried to slay me. I shall add you to the tally. You need to move closer to the enemy to make a shot. Select the highlighted card to move your character. You can use almost any card in the game to move your character. Click the move button to move your character. Select the highlighted cell to move there. Move, move, move. Confirm your action by clicking the select the cell a second time to move there. Select direction. It will affect the direction of your attacks. This is the action point counter. Usually you will start each turn with two action points. You spend one action point each time you play a card. It's a good chance to attack this Chaos Space Marine. Select your bolt gun card. Click the use button to make a shot. It's a loading animation. There we go. Click an enemy to select. Oh, I didn't get to read it. Confirm your action by clicking the select the cell a second time. I didn't actually click the first time. Which is fine, I don't actually want to click twice. Let's try some more advanced tactics. All of your cards have a number in the top right corner. These are effort points. Every time you play a card, you receive effort points. The more effort points you have at the end of your turn, later your next turn will occur. Now let's try to get some tactical advantage from it. You can see that now your character has a zero effort points, a number next to the time icon. If we manage to end this turn with less effort points than our enemies, we will get our next turn before them. Choose this card to attack your enemy. Click the use button. Now our character has some effort points, but our enemies have more. Take a look. So we finish our turn now, we'll basically get an extra turn. He has got 17. Right, but if I... I, I can do one more thing, yeah. Alright. Clicking it, but it won't let me do that for the tutorial. See, it's your turn again. Try to use this to your advantage and your battles become much easier. Now go and defeat your enemies. Defeat seems kind of, um... Uh, when it's not, what do I, what's, for, what's the word for this? Mellow for Warhammer Universe. <laughs> Most melee weapons can only attack a single enemy in the adjacent cell in front of your character. On the other hand, enemy weapons are fast, powerful, and have a high chance to hit the target. And so I could do two of these and still go before him, I think. Got five effort points. Then I'll use this. Then I'll in turn. What other action points do I have? Do I get to, get to keep picking cards all day or what? I guess I have... I, all right. Let me make sure I... Oh, I guess I don't understand exactly what's going on. I'll, I'll learn. Was it in turn I was supposed to hit? Maybe not. Uh, so I guess this is the number of damage, that's the accuracy of it. So we'll pick this. Flamer and other weapons with area effect deal damage to all targets within the area.
still not 100% sure I understand effort points yet, but I'm sure I'll learn over time. Got a buddy. Valgard, this place is swarming with chaos scum, and there's one who reeks particularly strongly of filth. If you wish to quench your thirst for vengeance, you're going to have to hurry. We'll be waiting for you right behind the cruiser's wreckage. Don't you dare go and take out all the traitors without me, or by Russ, I'll lose it! Valgard, my Auspex is registering an equipment container not far from you. Search it! It should have all we need to help our brethren. Let's ready ourselves for the fight against our enemies. Gunnar has some cards you've not seen yet. Shield, for example, gives him defense points. While a character has defense, any damage it dealt to him is reduced by half, but he loses one defense each time he's attacked. Let's give Gunnar some defense. Click the Storm Shield card. You can see that he now has two defense points. A character can have a maximum of three defense points. We have one more action point left. Let's equip Gunnar with a weapon. This is an equip card. Instead of being used instantly as used cards, these cards need to be equipped before you can use them. Click this card. To affect a single target, use one hand, ammo capacity two. Okay. It's like the equip slot. You have equipped a character with a weapon. Equip cards are not discarded after being used. Instead, their ammunition decreases by one. Once per turn, if an enemy moves and then stops in your attack zone, you automatically attack him at no effort cost. One more thing to mention before you crush the enemy. Chain effects. Some cards have a chain icon on them. These cards have a bonus which can be triggered by certain actions. For example, this card gives your attack an additional hit chance if you attack a target with a ranged weapon. Let's attack an enemy with your equipped Storm Bolter. I mean, I'm not... Like this... I don't know if I can get aim. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm assume, uh, like this guy will probably die in one hit. I don't know if that would nullify an aimed shot, which I assume is an extra thing. But this guy has more effort, and nine plus. So I guess it shouldn't matter too much, actually. We'll, we'll go with this guy first. Okay, so I guess it just happened automatically. This is a chain effect. You've attacked an enemy with your ranged weapon, so the chain effect card has been automatically played now adds a bonus hit chance to your current attack. Chain effect cards are played at no effort when their condition is met. Having some of these cards in your deck can help you a lot in your battles. Okay, uh, that cost me... so I'm at 9 effort now. With no ammo... Uh, can I reload? Not at the moment. Alright. So if I, in turn, like, do they get to murderize me. I mean, I'll, I'll be fine. It's a tutorial. They're not going to be able to kill me even, even if I enter, but I'm just trying to figure out how the effort thing works. Let's go ahead and shoot for now. Oh, wait, what's this? What does that mean? It doesn't It doesn't leave me a tooltip. I assume this means reload. Yeah, it does. Okay. Chain plus two effort to targets not at full health. All right. So if I reload, that will allow me to use up, I guess, nine action points now so that I can shoot later for nine effort. Because it costs me nine effort to shoot him now. Let's try reloading. Let's see what happens. Uh, 
That actually cost me more effort to use move instead of the chain sword. Gug lets me move three. That lets me move more than three, so that's why. Plus, I only need to move a little bit. Let's go here. Use your jump pack to get across the cruiser wreckage. Select the jump pack card to jump over the wreckage. Move up to five cells. Can pass through obstacles. I'm gonna land on him. <laughs> How could another of the Emperor's pups have survived our attack? I have made short work of plenty of your brothers, and I'm curious to see whether you'll be able to put up a worthy fight before your impending death. Don't disappoint me, Grey Hunter. Urgh! Foul scum! Whoever you are, I'll rip your throat out no matter what it costs me. You'll pay dearly for each of my fallen brethren. I've got yeah, in-laws who are asleep right now, so I can't really be shouting. I guess I could, but I'd make a poor host. So I could equip this, I guess. I'm not sure it would really matter. He'll probably just shoot me from where he is. Can I shoot him? No, so he might have to move forward, actually. Let's go and equip that, then. This game through Keymailer, it's I think is the first time a key that I've requested has been accepted. So I, I figured I, I should definitely play it. It was, it was one of the ones I thought I was interested in. Uh, it did say card strategy, which kind of um, turned me off a little bit. But I think I th when I think about it, Super Dungeon Tactics was essentially card strategy. When I think of like card games, I think oh you got to pay for booster packs and get more more cards that could be the exact duplicate of what you already get. Essentially, what do they call them? Uh, loot crates. <laughs> the arsenal of loot crates. Okay, let's see here. Huh, I don't know why he's healthy, but that's fine. So if I use this, I can just heal up, but it shouldn't be necessary. Let's start mowing people down, maybe. Let me think here. I want to try something a little risky. All right, so we'll m move. Hold on, let me make sure I get the. Okay, one so. Two forward, so two, three spaces forward and then to the side. So this is one, two, three, and then to the side. So if I stand here, I should be able to burn both of them. Then we'll flame on. Oh, it's only 120 damage. This is not enough to kill both of them. Maybe I'll set them on fire and they'll die. That right, was a good idea, but nothing happened as a result. Okay, so he, he has an effort of one, so he'll go first at the moment. It doesn't even show me what my new one will be at. It 
So what I don't get is why I didn't get to get those free moves earlier. Or maybe I did. Oh, come on, you killed your own dude? I hope I hope it doesn't cost me any XP. Two twenty-five. Not enough to kill him. Oh come on. I think I think that bush is in the way. Not one hundred percent sure. Uh, so it's a three range in front. I, I just didn't want to end up in the uh, flamethrower range, but if the flamethrower works three ahead, I should be okay. ally, so it shouldn't heal him. Alright, so he's got 15. If I intern now, does that just give me that guy now? Yeah, I don't know why I didn't do it earlier. I must have misunderstood something. I know I have that gun, I'm saving it. It's also, I mean, the mission probably ends here, but I'm saving it anyways. Victory. Collect golden skulls to level up. You receive golden skulls for completing objectives and story missions. You received one card. All right, how do I enter, enter promo codes? Armory? Collection? Your decks. One for each type of armor. Your cards. Click the added card to the deck. Tiles. I'm not really sure I'm a fan of Bloom. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, we'll turn on heat. We'll go and turn it all on for now. But where is this, all this promo stuff? So, selection of cards in hand, one to six, okay. So, equipped cards, makes sense. Camera movement on the uh, initial track, okay. Card discarding. Of course, I won't memorize all these, but it'd be a good start. the same ammo type. Okay, like that. Alright. Once per turn, if an enemy moves. Okay. Additional action that comes to play automatically at no effort costs when the condition is fulfilled. Yeah, we got that covered. Evolve. It combines two identical low-level cards to make a new card, a higher level variation of these cards. This is symbol. Destroys a card, giving you some weapon parts which can be used in the forge to craft new cards. Ah, here we go. Alright, so I'm going to start random, typing like a bunch of random things here. Uh, if any of them work, I will have that left in the footage, but if not, uh, um, we'll just jump to the next phase. Hey, three boosters. Alright, so that's uh, one so far. But one good one, so the rest of these are probably good, because I'm kind of going in reverse chronological order. Five cards. Can I? There, okay, I can drag. Cool. No, I'm not gonna hide these codes because these codes are on the news thing. So it's not like codes that were individually sent to me or anything like that. These are codes for anybody who hits the hits the news post on the Steam page can pick up. I can't say that it'll be good by the time you guys see this video, but it's good for me right now.
I have no idea if I'm like getting good stuff or not. <laughs> like, everything always sounds so fancy, but that's because I have no baseline. I don't know what any anything else is. I, I'm not familiar with actually the uh, Warhammer universe in depth, though I I do enjoy what I do know, and that's really just from the video games, uh, the Dawn of War games. Chain effects set. The melee set. Fire set. Plasma set. Overwatch set. Another chain effect set. Five. I think this means rare to legendary cards. Uh, L, okay, L is legendary, R is rare. I, I, yeah, and this is probably like the level of power it is. So if I were to, for example, evolve these, it'd be better, is what I'm assuming. So this can only go up to four, but legendaries can go up to six. That's what I'm assuming. Uh, I am somewhat familiar with how card stuff works only because I played a lot of uh, Chinese MMORPGs and and those kind of games. <laughs> Three boosters. Wolf Scout set. It'd be nice if it told me what the thing, the bonus was in the game, just to kind of give it more meaning. Like right now, it looks like just a bunch of random cards, and it may very well be, but for example, if there was a theme, I think the player would enjoy knowing that they've got parts of a theme more. But don't make it like a separate pop-up, it should just be like up here. Melee set. All right, so that that is the, all the redeem, redeemed promo codes that that are available at this point in time. Forge your chances to get a common, uncommon, rare, epic, or legendary card on successful craft attempt. Ah, uh, I hate this stuff. Okay, each booster contains five cards. At least one of these cards is uncommon or better. Click this button to forge a card. Each booster contains five cards. At least one of these cards is uncommon or better. Um, I only understood like half of that, but I guess I got 12 booster packs, so I should start opening things up. Can I get the help file again? Probably not. Oh, here we go. I bet that's it. Yeah, click this button. So I would, I could turn my weapon parts into... So this, I can turn into a card. I'm gonna save that for now in case I can use it for other things. Okay, yeah, it ramps up my, my cost. Alright, let's try opening these. I'll, I'll leave anima animations on for a second. Seriously? Okay. Alright, well that's enough of the animations. Whee, let's open. 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 Open! <laughs> hey, wait, why didn't you open more? Was I just clicking too fast? Okay, no, I don't want to open another one. That's, 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 that's dirty right there. Good thing I was watching. So let's take a look at my commons. Uh, can I? S All right. So here's like the use. And it tells me I have one of those cards indexed. Is that what this means? What's the two for then? So this is two star. Okay, I see. I see. Let's go back one. So I have... I have no two star... cards. I didn't know these things could have stars, because I don't see those things. Maybe that's not what that icon earlier was. So what, what does this mean? That, that probably means convert to parts. Combine two level card, two low level cards to get a higher level card. So I can combine these. Two, yeah, yeah, okay. See, I didn't see these little dots earlier. That's what I was looking for. But I'll turn that into a two star, I guess, which will give me a little bit more damage and one more percent to aim. I mean, sure. Let's just try it. But I'm not sure I want to try it on that one. 
I only have the one of these, right? And that could turn this into a like parts. Let's click it just to see what happens. It may tell me like it only gives me this many parts. Okay. So this is similar to get some parts. I don't actually want to do that, but I would get 50 parts. Okay, so let's try combining. Let's see here. This is 165. Okay. Oh, let me think here. Like, do I need a certain amount of cards? How, how do I, how do I like build my deck? I probably have to go to campaign. So should I combine a card now? I don't know. That might be really bad considering I don't have very many cards, I'm sure. I may not have many, very many cards, so it might be horrible to do it right now. I have, I have many, I have lots of melee weapon attacks, so let's go ahead and combine some of these. Why won't you let me combine? Okay, so this means create to that one, is that what that means? Why wouldn't I be able to disassemble that anyways? I know it I know it says combine create combine two, but why is there a third card hiding back there? Alright, well let's try it. Use this card is currently used in one or several decks, which will become incomplete after this operation. Would you like to continue? <sighs> if I did this, I might like break the tutorials. I'm gonna hit and say no for right now because I don't want to get stuck and not be able to play the game. Ah, uh, this is confusing now. Wait, what did I just do? Oh, I think I just took a card out of the deck. Is that what's going on? Okay, well, how do I put cards into the deck? Is this what this button is for? Dragging doesn't work. Well, that's not helpful. I think <laughs> I messed up my decks already. Good job. Good job, me. All right, let's see if I can get a run back in there. I don't know why I can't drag it or something. Oh, there we go. So I click it on this. Man, this is... Okay, all right. Well, I mean, I'm not totally thrilled with the way the, the deck building is done, but maybe it's just that I'm totally not used to it. All right, so give me a little bit and let me try building a deck. That will probably be a very horrible unbalanced deck, but let's just mess with it. All right, I've assembled my deck. It's probably not very good. Uh, it cost me a lot of effort for all these higher cards. Whereas, for example, these commons will cost me like seven, seven equip, uh, seven effort, and these things will cost me like fourteen effort. I did equip a grenade. I don't know how useful that'll be, but that's like the only grenade I have, so might as well throw that in there. And that is my power armor deck. I don't think I've unlocked these types yet. So let's take a look at armory. Armor upgrades. They are unlocked in pairs and you can switch between them at any time between your missions. Do I have to go in like an order or something? Squad, up, squad member upgrades. They are unlocked for free when a squad member reaches a certain level. You can switch between unlock upgrades at any time between your missions. Okay. I was wondering why I would want to not like, there had to be a reason why I shouldn't just upgrade this right now, and that's why. So, I move character. Fine. 
Oh, okay, each dude. Alright. Squad members do not level up in missions, train them for runes instead. Change their names or anything? I wonder if it's the same for everybody. I'll learn more, but I don't necessarily want to... Okay, well I guess I can't do call, that's what me with red means. 